social enterprise encompasses many different disciplines, but central to all of them is the concept of social innovation. When people come together and innovate to make the world a better place. Social enterprise to me takes best practices from the business and the NGO management sector and combines them. A group, a team, an organization, and increasingly a group of organizations or an alliance all committed to making a difference. When I found the SE program, the Social Enterprise Program here at American University, I realized that it was in a way to learn about leadership and management and creating change within an organization. I chose the Social Enterprise Program to pursue a career in human rights advocacy. I was looking into doing a JD degree, but I realized that human rights advocacy is not only done through a legal profession or an NGO, but also through entrepreneurship. We're one of a handful of graduate programs worldwide that's focused exclusively on social entrepreneurship. I'm so excited that there's this uh, master's program now in social enterprise. Our understanding of leadership, our understanding of entrepreneurs, activism, it all comes together in this. And I think it's a very rich field to study and then ultimately to work in. We've raised an entire generation doing service. That's never happened before. I mean, it's a gross generalization, but what I see is a generation hunting desperately for a way to merge spirituality, lifestyle, income. It used to be that the only way you could dream of having a, an impact was by going into government service or aid organizations or non traditional nonprofits. And many of them do excellent work. But social entrepreneurship provides an additional channel for people that have uh, a certain type of aptitude, energy, or perspective to make a difference as well. The um, world needs people who are incredibly smart, effective generalists and who can adapt to a variety of situations. So I think students need to come out with very strong uh, critical thinking skills and problem solving skills a great ability to communicate. The three things it takes to really be successful are first, creativity, and second would be tenacity, just not giving up, and the third would be your ability to function well outside of your comfort zone. So we designed this project called The Plunge to really help students uh, get experiences in all three. Mike and I worked alongside with a team to do research on Maryland's ecosystem for entrepreneurs and we also were looking at how to improve customer service in Maryland. There's a group of students doing a whole business case on Goodweave and our partnership with Macy's department stores. Uh, I think it's been a great learning opportunity for them and it's something that's really helpful to our organization as well. We've now done essentially a pilot effort of how to bring companies and NGOs together. We focus on what it takes to make things happen in the real world. Faculty is a mix of scholars and practitioners and we work hard to try to keep the wall between the campus and the real world real low. And what I'm seeing here at American University is a bunch of courses that give students the skills they need to execute and to turn their vision from a dream into a reality. I've taken courses at the Kogod School of Business, um, and I'm interested in taking courses at the School of Communications, and also courses with the Arts Management Program. Since it's so student-oriented, there's a fair amount of flexibility built into it. Um, and one of the ways that I'm kind of taking advantage of that is by creating an independent study course. That really ties in with kind of my interest in education and my job at Ashoka's Youth Venture. I think Washington is an ideal place for a social enterprise program because every organization that has an agenda will have an office, a government affairs office, government liaison office based in Washington. This program really aligns with my professional goals and given that my interest is working in Latin America, I can really understand just being here at SIS, the intersection between enterprise and development. Each one of us has a different interest in social enterprise, but we all have kind of the same overarching interest that is social enterprise. So I think it's, and it's an amazing group of students and I'm very happy with my choice. And um, it's really been a great way to grow in new areas. Our students in the Social Enterprise Program are incredible. They inspire me, they give me energy, and they give one another energy and provide 
a wonderful network for one another and also for links to us and to our colleagues who are social entrepreneurs all over the world. The, the students in this school are activists. They want to make things happen. They want to make things different. Social enterprise, in my mind, is entrepreneurship, where you're trying to create something uh, that just wasn't there. You're trying to create a job. You're trying to create a field. You're trying to fill a niche. This is where somebody's trying to figure out how they can make a living and be really proud of it at the same time. If you'd like to learn more about our students, our curriculum, and the kinds of applicants we're looking for, please take a look at our website.